Hi. Police say the burglar has targeted at least seven businesses in the past 15 days. 12 News' Kendall Keyes joins us live from Hanson Brothers Auto. And Kendall, the suspect shattered a window there. Joyce, look at this window here, still boarded up from a break in last week. The owner tells me the suspect was inside for just a few minutes when they couldn't find anything valuable to get their hands on. They broke into another business nearby. A worker repairs the glass doors at the Family Dollar near 60th and Silver Spring. After a burglar shattered the glass to get inside. Police say the same person targeted several other businesses, including this O'Reilly Auto Parts on Silver Spring twice, and this Sitco gas station on 91st just north of Silver Spring, smashing a window to get in and then another window to try to get to the cash register. Then last Wednesday, they got inside Hanson Brothers Auto Sales. They were in and out of here in a two or three minutes. Surveillance video shows those moments. A person in a red hoodie running through the hallway, jiggling a locked doorknob. Tim Hansen, the owner, says they didn't find anything. With most cars, exception of a couple, you can't steal the cars without the keys. So those are locked up tight, tight, tight. So the perpetrator got nothing here, but hopefully a couple of cuts from breaking the glass. Milwaukee police tell 12 News the person is behind at least seven break-ins, all within 15 days. Individual is at nighttime going to the different businesses and breaking the window out, entering the businesses and pretty much making himself at home in there and trying to steal items out of, out of the businesses. Hansen, also vice president of the Business Improvement District for the area, says robust security prevented what could have been thousands of dollars out the window. I got a broken window, but we can fix that, and uh, we're, we're, we're here to stay in this neighborhood. Kendall, what are police saying about should people be concerned for their safety? Joyce, police don't feel the public is at risk. Captain Schley says at this point he thinks the suspect is only targeting businesses when they're closed, but he does ask the public to remain vigilant, and if you see anything suspicious, to call police.